Hey guys, and welcome back to another Halloween video. Now, today I have my last of the new for 2022 uh, Lemax preview items that uh, Lemax sent me for becoming a Lemax influencer. And uh, I am very excited to talk about this one. So this is the Poison Pumpkin Potpourri. Now, this piece, again, is new for 2022. And uh, unlike uh, the last two pieces I talked about, this one is not exclusive to Michaels, or it's not any uh, exclusive to any online retailers, so you'll be able to get this from uh, anywhere this year. In fact, it's actually readily available at Gift Spice, so if you want it, uh, you can pick it up there. It's uh, readily available. So this piece was one I was very interested in because, you know, as you can see from the, uh, the videos here, this is actually a smoking piece, so... Uh, Lee Max a couple years ago started uh, adding the chimney smoke effect on their uh, Christmas buildings and uh, Last year they had uh, some fogger pieces for the spooky town lineup, you know, like the skull Corey and the uh, the Isle of Jacks uh, This one works differently than those two. It actually works more closely to the uh, cabin pieces uh, That utilize the uh, chimney smoke effect uh, In fact, I did a review of the chestnut cabin a couple years ago and uh, the setup on it is very similar to that one. So you can see here uh, this top tank uh, comes off. It actually comes in a separate compartment on the box. You have to put it, uh, install it onto the piece. It's no magnet or anything. You just put it on top. Um, but uh, there is this uh, tank, as you can see, where the uh, uh, top part is supposed to go. Uh, you fill that with water, and then you put the cap on it. The uh, wick here, it actually comes uh, pre-installed to the piece, but um, it has the wick. Be sure to soak the wick so that it'll start smoking, then you put the uh, smoker device back on, and then you have the switch on the back which will cause it to smoke. Now, if your thing needs more water, it'll blink red, so if it's blinking red, be sure to add more water to the, uh, the tank. And uh, once you do all that, as you can see, uh, it'll start smoking no problem. This one actually does produce a good amount of uh, steam from the top here. It's a great effect, I really like uh, the pieces that utilize this. And um, that's really the only uh, animated feature on this piece. The only other thing is at the uh, center, there's this uh, witch cauldron with the fire. And as you can see, the fire will slowly pulse. It's a really cool effect. The Emacs have been using the uh, pulsing fire uh, a lot this year, I've noticed. So, um, But yeah, it still looks really good. And uh, this whole building, uh, I really, really dig because... To me, this is a very Halloween autumnal piece. You know, it's got the jack-o'-lanterns, it's got the witches, and it's even got the ear of corn on the side. To me, this is one of those pieces that just screams Halloween. Uh, every time I look at it, it gets me in the mood. So yeah, I'm a really big fan of this. I know this one, I guess, was a little bit divisive. Uh, personally, though, I think it's great. Now, I guess if I were to uh, critique it a little bit... I don't know why it's called Poison Pumpkin Potpourri, because there's nothing to do with potpourri on this piece. I uh, almost feel like it should be called like Poison Pumpkin Porridge or Puree. I think that would make more sense, but we all know potpourri is the stuff that you, uh, or those uh, flowers that you break that smells good. Um, this does not have any of that, so I feel like uh, instead maybe it should be called Poison Pumpkin uh, Porridge. I think that would make more sense, but... Nonetheless, still great details on this piece. Again, I love the ear of corn on the side. Um, the actual, the big jack o' lantern's eyes glow up green. It's got multiple colors of lighting. I love the purple that's on the uh, side of the building. It's just a really, really nice looking piece. I'm a really big fan of it. I like any of the pumpkin stuff. And it's also got the steam effect. So, yeah, this is kind of a piece for me. Uh, Alright guys, so that is going to conclude... Uh, my early preview for Spooky Town, but uh, next week I'm really hoping to do a, a Q&A, so in this video be sure to leave some comments uh, asking some questions, so hopefully next week I can have enough to do a Q&A. Uh, you can ask me anything you want, tips, advice, uh, yeah. So um, yeah, no soundtrack on this piece, so this is the end of the video. Thank y'all so much for watching.